It's being described as a community tragedy. The home that burned down is located just off the main road here in Weipe, and for the last couple of days, it's been a visual reminder of the pain that this community is going through. We're all destroyed. I mean, there's no other way around it. It's hard to find the words to describe what Weipe and one local family is going through. Early Friday morning, Chance Carr and Hannah Huth were asleep in their Weipe home, while twin sons John and Sean also slept in another room. As they awoke to flames in their home, everything changed. I gasped. I was just, you know, all those emotions that flood your your mind and you're like, oh no. Family friend Jason Barrett saw the fire that morning too. Authorities have said flames were so intense, John and Sean couldn't be saved. In fact, they both ran around and tried to find another entrance to the home to try to get the boys. They did everything they could to try to get to there. Their little guys. On Monday, authorities said that the fire started due to a faulty lighting fixture. The bodies of the boys were found in the kitchen. Barrett says John and Sean were hiding in a cabinet, comforting one another in their final moments. So they started life holding each other, and they ended life the same way they started. And, uh, it's just a, uh, it's kind of a beautiful story of love in the midst of such a tragedy. There's so many things. Um often referred to as little monkey boys. They are true country boys through and through. They love fishing with their daddy. Aunt Tyra Ruberti says John and Sean, although twins, each had such distinct personalities. They were the firstborn kids of parents Chance and Hannah, 23 year olds just starting their own family. Chance and Hannah came from large families themselves and many knew their twin boys too. I don't think there's a person in we I, or Pierce or probably many in Orofino that don't know the boys pretty darn personally, not if not at least in passing. Being a young couple, the parents didn't have insurance on their home. Now everything is gone. And it comes amidst even more tragedy for Father Chance, who lost some of his fingers in a work accident at the nearby lumber mill. But now thousands have poured in to help the family, over $22,000 on an online fundraiser. While it will never take the place of the pain felt by losing John and Sean, Ruberti says it shows that the twins were truly part of this community. We just want to make sure everyone knows that these boys are loved so much and they are so special to everyone. That The family has found uh, a lot of peace knowing that, that God saves and that, uh, that these boys are with Jesus. We're told services for the boys are being planned for this weekend when given permission Barrett says community members who own heavy equipment plan to clear and remove debris from the fire site. In Weipe, Taylor Vido, Crim 2 News.